Hi there, this is Dr. Evan Osar with Integrative Movement Insider. Hope this video finds you well. Happy Sunday, hope your weekend is going well and you're ready to start a brand new week. In this series of Integrative Movement Insider, I've been discussing perspective and one of the most important components of training your clients is having a perspective that there is no one best answer when it comes to training your clients, no one best approach. So in this series, we're going to continue. First week, we looked at squats, the perspective of squatting to a bench height versus squatting deep. Last week, we, last week, we looked at the perspective of scapular retraction versus when you do it, when you don't do it. Today, I want to discuss working with clients and a perspective of working with clients with low back pain. I just had a client that came in recently and he had chronic low back pain. He'd seen chiropractors, I've seen physical therapists, working out, and one of the things he obviously was frustrated with, you know, chronic low back pain, but he was frustrated with like, when I work out, no back pain. It's usually when I'm sitting at home or you're just some, moving some boxes, and he's like, yeah, then my back started bothering me, I felt it down my leg, then, you know, down into my hip and into my lower leg, and he was sort of frustrated as to why that was, or is. One of the things that we look at as posture and movement specialists is our client's strategy. How are they maintaining their posture? How are they moving? Because you and I, we don't treat pain. We don't treat pain. So we shouldn't chase our client's pain and think that we're going to change their pain. What we can do, what we're best in the world at, is changing our client's strategy. Can we help them or how do we help them create a more optimal posture and movement strategy? So that begins with looking at some of your client's movement patterns. So the first thing I looked at with this individual was just his standing posture. How was his rib cage aligned over top of his pelvis? It was actually aligned pretty well just from looking from, from the side. You know, what we want to see is the rib cage stacked above the pelvis, the entire fractal pelvic cylinder, rib cage and pelvis, stacked above the base of support or the feet. So that was pretty decent. When I was looking at him from behind though, I saw he was a little bit compressed on his right side. That's the side he has issues with. And for a lot of our clients, you'll start to see these issues, the side they have issues on, not always, so again, this is just perspective, the side he has issues on is the side he's compressed. When I had him think about lengthening through that right side, and obviously we did some soft tissue work and you can do some myofascial release to help him get there, we did some breathing to get him to breathe more into that right side. He's like, okay, that feels a little bit better in my hip. And then I showed him what happens like when he collapsed back down. He's like, oh yeah, now I'm feeling some more tightness and pressure in my hip. So that's one thing. Again, we're not chasing the pain. I'm just giving him a different strategy based upon what we know. That when joints are aligned better, when the cylinder is better aligned, when the individuals breathing better, they have better pressure regulation. They have better stability, core stability. They have a better ability to decompress their spine. So when we're, when we're addressing clients with low back pain, for example, we're not gonna chase that pain. The same thing if you work with the client with knee pain. Yeah, you wanna know if your exercises are causing pain or replicating the pain or, or contributing to the pain, but once you the client's been cleared to exercise, and they've had these chronic issues, then you wanna help them develop the most optimal strategy for them. So, one of the, the other things we're gonna to start to look at now is just rotation. So you just do a simple rotation assessment, just have your client stand and keep their feet flat, just rotate to one side, come back to center, rotate to the other side. Is there a difference in the rotation? You can do seated rotation, we can have the client sit down now, and just do a seated rotation, compare that side to side. Again, you're looking at movement because this is movement for everyday life. What you can see in me, so we'll just use me for example, right side rotation, free and easy. Come back, left side, not so free and easy. So now that we understand that, okay, there's a pretty significant asymmetry side to side, can we address that asymmetry? That's what we're working out with my client. So for example, for someone like me, you may need to do myofascial release of the erectors, of the lats, maybe of the obliques. The best way to release the obliques is just to get the client to breathe well. They can do a breathe in and shorten, breathe out and lengthen. So that way you're helping them decompress that compressed side. So let's do that one more time. We'll breathe in, shorten, breathe out and lengthen. So you're doing active lengthening. Okay, so breathe in, shorten, breathe out and lengthen. Okay? We can do a modified, we use 
can use a bench here, you can do a modified rotation where I'm focusing on creating length through my spine, cross my arm over, I can breathe in, and do a modified rotation. Again, I'm really just focusing on lengthening my spine that direction. So breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. One more time, breathe in, breathe out. Now, I would do that longer, and I would do a few sets, but let's just see if that was enough just to change, okay? So cross the arms again, and then do my right rotation. That actually feels a bit freer now. Let's do left rotation, and that feels much different now. And again, now it's just with like three breaths and three rotations, so it doesn't take a lot. Again, it depends on your client. It doesn't take much to change, to, to change their strategy, how their brain, their nervous system is using their myofascial system. Now, once you change their strategy, you need to integrate that new strategy. Otherwise, they're going, they leave your office or they leave your session, they're going right back to their old strategy because that's what the nervous system knows, that's what they've ingrained. So for example, you can do something simple like a anti-rotation pattern. So let's just grab this here. So we can do a simple rotation where I just have them teach them how to control their cylinder. They align, control, they rotate, and control their cylinder, not allowing that resistance to pull them out of this position. So again, it's alignment, it's rotation, come back and control. So they're not really rotating so much from their spine as, is, as they are controlling rotation. Obviously, you will train in both directions. So here, this is my more limited side. I'm gonna be very focused on lengthening, lengthening through the side, controlling it, and then controlling it back to the starting position. So rotate, come back and control. Rotate, come back and control. You can even do just some, something simple as just a press out, where you're just teaching them to maintain that length as they press out away from the body. Again, there's so many different variations that you can work on with your client. Then again, you want to go recheck that range of motion to ensure that your client maintained the range of motion you help them create or create, yes, to win their corrective exercise strategy. So come back to the center, just rotate. That actually feels a bit better and my left rotation actually feels a bit better as well. So again, what we've done, or what you've done with your client is you've assessed them to see and determine their current strategy. Where do they have those postural alterations that are contributing to or feeding into their movement strategy? Where is their strategy suboptimal? Like where, they, where do they have compression? Where do they have tightness? Where have they lost range of motion? Where do they have asymmetry in side to side? Like maybe shoulder flexion side to side, hip rotation side to side, or trunk rotation side to side, so you're comparing symmetry in their body, and then how can you use your corrective exercises to address those asymmetries to start to develop the optimal mobility as well as the optimal stability through your corrective exercises, because that's what corrective exercise is all about, and then how do you integrate those concepts into the fundamental movement patterns, so you're pushing and pulling patterns, you're squatting, you're lunging, bending, rotating, as well as your walking and or gait patterns, so you're reinforcing the habits, because essentially what you're doing with corrective exercises is you're helping your client create more optimal posture and movement habits and integrate those more optimal habits into their body. And that's how you help them create the most optimal strategy, even outside of their pain. So you want to focus them more upon the things that you're working on versus just focusing on the pain, because that's where their head is at. Oh, I just I saw this, this little back pain. Focus on the things that the asymmetrical range of motion, the limited range of motion, the lack of stability, maybe in single leg stance, or if they're doing a push up through their shoulder. So you're looking for those suboptimal strategies and then helping them optimize their strategies. Again, we're not trying to make them perfect. Corrective, corrective exercise isn't trying to correct them or make them perfect. It's just helping them optimize their posture and movement strategy and then integrating it into the fundamental movement patterns that help the client move towards safely and effectively accomplishing their health and fitness goals. And that's exactly how you become that go-to specialist. You differentiate yourself from the rest of the industry and you really stand out and help those individuals that are looking for someone, a leader, someone to help them gain their health, regain their health and or work towards regaining their health, their posture, their movement, their independence, keep their independence and or develop their independence, maintain their longevity and really live their best life. And that's really how you become that go-to specialist for your current clients and attract more individuals that need, want, and will pay you for your expertise. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that demonstration gives you something to think about differently when you're working with clients with chronic pain because most of our clients are coming to us with some kind of chronic pain. Shoulder, back pain, could be knee pain. And again, 
It's a very similar approach regarding, regardless of where your client has their issues. Understand what they can and can't do, make sure they have medical clearance, make sure you've done your due diligence with your assessments and understanding their history, and then make sure you work and do what you're best in the world at, and that's helping them create a more optimal posture and movement strategy. If you're looking for more information, we're starting in January. We're starting our three-day introduction fundamental course. So it's really just the fundamentals of perspective of how do you look at the core from a functional anatomy, biomechanics, and motor control standpoint. How do you use your assessments, your corrective exercises, and integrate them into fundamental movement patterns? And then we'll take it also through the hip, and then we'll also share the same information for the shoulder. So that begins in, in January, it's three Friday afternoons. We record it so you can't be on live. You can access the recording once the live sessions are over. So if you're looking for more information and you want to help more individuals with this sort of approach, systematic approach to working with your clients, check out the link. I put it next to this video here or wherever you're watching it, the link is there. If you have any questions, just reach out to us. We're happy to answer them. And we look forward to serving you in 2023, helping you really help your current clients really hone in on your strategy, your approach, and help you attract more individuals that are really, really looking for a simple yet effective approach and a way to communicate with your clients in a very effective way as well. This is Dr. Evan Oso, Integrated Movement Insider.